Here's seven behind-the-scenes facts about Creed II, starring Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone, and Dolph Lundgren. Florian Muntiano was a hulking presence as Victor Drago, just like his on-screen father was in Rocky IV. But surprisingly, Muntiano actually had to lose weight in order to play his role. Before Creed II, the 6'4 actor weighed about 250 pounds, but then he went on a strict diet to shed 20 pounds for the role. While on the other hand, Michael B. Jordan had to eat like crazy to gain 25 pounds so that the two fighters would look more evenly matched on screen. Just like Rocky IV, Creed II is partially focused on a set of characters from Russia. But none of the three prominent Russian characters are actually played by Russian actors, because Dolph Lundgren is Swedish, Florian Muntiano is German-Romanian, and Bridget Nielsen is Danish. Bridget Nielsen returned to her role from Rocky IV as Ivan Drago's ex-wife. But something amazing about her return in Creed II is that the 54-year-old actress was seven months pregnant while shooting her scenes, which is why nearly all of her shots were filmed from the waist up and she gave birth just two weeks after the movie had wrapped. Creed II is filled with callbacks to iconic moments from the entire Rocky franchise, and here's a couple of them that might be harder to notice. For starters, when Donnie pours his heart out to Bianca while proposing to her, she didn't hear him at first because she didn't have her hearing aids in. And this is similar to Rocky's proposal to Adrian at the zoo, when he pops the question and she doesn't hear him at first because she's wearing earmuffs. Another subtle callback is about the similarities of the training montages before the big fights of Creed II and Rocky IV. In Rocky IV, Stallone gears up for the big fight by training in the intense cold of Russia, and in Creed II, Adonis trains in the intense desert heat of America. Creed II is reportedly Sylvester Stallone's last time appearing as Rocky Balboa, and the emotional passing of the torch at the end of the big fight was completely unscripted. Stallone came up with the idea on the fly to stay outside the ring during the post-fight celebrations, as a way for Rocky to humbly bow out of the limelight. And not even the director knew what Stallone was going to say when Rocky delivers his final line to Adonis, because that line wasn't even in the script. Ivan Drago is arguably Rocky's most lethal adversary, and the two fighters almost exchanged blows again in Creed II. The fight was going to take place after Creed's hospitalization from his first fight with Victor Drago. Then Ivan and Victor would show up to the hospital as a power move, but then Rocky would stop them and then the two would get into a fight, but unfortunately the scene never made it into the movie. Speaking of deleted scenes, there are two more scenes that were cut from the film that would have added more closure to Rocky's long-running saga. The first is a scene where Rocky gives an emotional eulogy at Spider Rico's funeral that punctuates how alone Rocky feels because all of his old pals are now dead. And another emotional deleted scene would have happened after the big fight, when Creed makes amends with Victor by telling him his life has more meaning than just one fight. And even Rocky makes an attempt to have some closure with Ivan, but it's bittersweet because even though they do seem to bury the hatchet, it's unsatisfying because they do so without ever saying a word to each other. Click a video for more great content right here on Fun Fact Films.